Hey guys, hi, welcome back. So in this video, we will see what is Poisson distribution and we will solve a few problems, okay? So Poisson distribution, it is a limiting form of binomial distribution. We have already seen what is binomial distribution in the last video. And if you have not seen, you can just go and check the last video. That is the previous lecture, okay? So Poisson distribution, it is a limiting form or you can say the limiting case of binomial distribution. So now we will see three conditions under which we will use Poisson's distribution. So the first is the number of trials are infinitely large, that is n tends to infinity. You will have to remember when the number of trials are infinitely large, that means when small n tends to infinity, then you will use the Poisson's distribution. Second is the constant probability of success for each trial is infinitely small. That is small p tends to zero. That means in each trial, the probability of success, okay, the constant probability of success, it will be infinitely small. Okay, that means it will tend to zero. You will have to remember number of trial is infinity, but the number of success, probability of success is zero. So the last is what? N p product of the number of trials and the probability of success for each trial, it is a finite quantity, quantity, okay? So these are the three cases, clear? Now you see how we will calculate the probability for the success of any event A, okay? If any random experiment is repeated n times, so using the Poisson's distribution, you can write the probability of success to be equals to e to the power minus m, m to the power r factorial r r is the number of success here and m is the mean of the distribution clear so it's very simple you will have to see the number of trials you will have to see the probability of success and the third is np will be a finite quantity okay now let us see the formula for mean variance and standard deviation so here one thing you will have to remember when we are discussing the poisson distribution so for, for Poisson distribution, the mean and the variance are both equal. Okay, the formula is same for both of them. Okay, so we know mean is denoted by mu and mu is equals to what? N P. All right, this is the mean. Similarly, variance is denoted by sigma square. So variance is also N P. And standard variation denoted by sigma, it's root over. Okay, root over of the variance. So this is the standard deviation. So these are the three formulas that you will have to remember. Now we will do a few questions so that you will understand how to use the probability formula of Poisson distribution. So what is the first question here? The car hire firm has two cars which it hires out day by day. Okay. Now the number of demands for a car on each day is distributed as a Poisson's distribution with mean 1.5. Calculate the number of days in a year on which the car is not used. Second is the number of days in a year on which some demand is refused. So here you see, here a car hire is there, okay? So it is having how many cars in total? Two cars. And it hires day by day, okay? So every day, people are hiring these two cars. So you see, here it is said the number of demands for a car on each day is distributed as points and distribution. So how many cars are hired each day that is given by the Poisson distribution and the mean is given 1.5. So what you are asked to calculate here, you are asked to calculate the number of days in a year. The first is when the car is not used. The second is the number of days in a year on which some of the demand are refused. So firstly, the car is not used. When will be the car not used? See, when the demand is zero, right? That means when r is equals to zero, okay, then the car is not used, right? We will find the probability for r equals to zero and then we will multiply with 365 days, which will give us the number of days in a year on which the car is not used, all right? So from, we are having the formula probability of r, it is equals to a to the power minus m, right? m to the power r by factorial r. So here you see r is equal to zero. m is the mean, mean is 1.5. So directly when you will put the value e to the power minus m, minus 1.5, all right? And here you are having what? 
one point five to the power zero divided by factorial zero is one. So you will get e to the power minus one point five. Okay, so when you will calculate it, you will get it to be point two two three one. Now the number of days. Okay, the number of days. It is equals to how much? Three sixty five into with point two two three one. Okay. When you will multiply these two, you will get almost something eighty one point four three one something. That is eighty one days. Okay, so eighty one days the car is not used. Clear. Second, let us see the number of days in a year on which some demand is refused. So now you see when will be the demand refused because the car, the this higher farm is having two cars. So when The demand is more than two, yes or no? When R is greater than this two, then the demand is refused, right? So we will find the number of days on which the demand is refused. So for the probability, we will find for what R greater than two. That is when the demand of the car is greater than two. In those days, some of the demands will be refused, right? So we will find what. that means we need to find probability of demand of three car probability of demand of four car and so on so that we can do when we will do one minus with what the probability of what demand of zero sum with probability of demand of one car plus probability of demand of how many car two car right the so same thing one minus the formula this will be same so we are not calculating it is 0.2231 plus here when you will do it will give you what e to the power Minus one point five. This is same. The mean minus one point five. M to the power one point five to the power one. Okay, and in the denominator you having factorial one. So that is one plus. Here you will have what? E to the power minus one point five. It will be same into mean to the power square. That is one point five whole square divided by factorial two. Right. This is what you are having. So now, when you will calculate this entire term, you will get zero point nine was something around zero point one nine one two. Okay, you can just calculate and see. Clear? So this is very simple. You have just seen the num the probability for the demand greater than two. Clear? Now we will see the next question. So here in question number two, it is said ten percent of the tools produced in a certain manufacturing process turn out to be defective. Find the probability that in a sample of ten tools chosen at random, exactly two will be defective by using binomial distribution and Poisson distribution. So here it is said, in a certain manufacturing process, there is a manufacturing process in that the tools which are produced, okay, out of that ten percent are defective, and you are asked to calculate the probability that if you are choosing ten tools, okay. Randomly, you will get exactly two tools which are defective. This probability you need to calculate first by binomial, then by Poisson. So for binomial, we will see first. If you have seen the previous video, you can, you will not find much problem. And if you are having any problem related to binomial distribution, you can go and see the lecture of binomial distribution, which was my last lecture. So here, if you see in this case, the value of small small n, that is the number of trials, it is ten. Okay. R will be two because you need two defective pieces exactly, okay. And next, what you will need here, probability of getting defective pieces. It is given ten percent, so it is what, ten by hundred. You can write it to be equals to one by ten. And probability of not getting defective pieces will be what, one minus one by ten. That is nine by ten. So directly we can calculate the probability for R equals to two. So it is what, n combination R, p to the power R. Q to the power n minus r. So directly 10 combination 2 you can write 1 by 10 to the power 2, and here you can write what 9 by 10 to the power 8 and n minus r. So this is factorial 8 into with 9 into with 10. Here you will get factorial 8 into with 2. You can calculate and see. So 1 by 10 into with 1 by 10 I am writing to make your calculation simple. So this 10 will get cancelled with this 10, and finally you will have what 1 by 2 into this is 9 by 10 right? So 9 by 10 is what? 0.9 to the power 9 you can write and when you will do this entire calculation you will get the value to be 0.19 you can do and check now we will do the same thing using poisson so for poisson also the value of n is what 10 right here the value of p is what 
it is 1 by 10 so you need the mean mean will be 1 so directly you can put in the formula formula for probability for r equals to 2 it is e to the power minus m right m to the power r divided by factorial r so e to the power minus m e to the power minus 1 m to the power r means 1 square is 1 ultimately and this is factorial 2 so it will give you what e to the power minus 1 is there right so e to the power minus 1 by 2 so when you will do the calculation you will get the value to be 0.18 okay so this is the probability using Poisson's distribution this is using the binomial distribution okay let us see the next question so here it is said there are 20 buses passing a bus stop randomly within an hour what is the probability that there will be no buses within five minutes and here it is e to the power minus five by three is given 0.19 so it is said 20 buses are passing okay a bus stop within an hour okay in one hour this many buses are passing within one hour okay so you asked to calculate the probability that there will be no bus in within five minutes so it is very clear single trial will correspond to what that you will have to check the bus is coming or not coming in a sing in a minute okay so this is in a single trial you will have to see so first what we will see we will calculate the probability of bus passing in one minute okay probability of bus passing in one minute that is small p so it is 20 buses are passing in a hour so it is 20 by 60 so you will get 1 by 3 here all right now you see small n here it will be what five minutes because we will have to calculate the probability that no bus will pass within five minutes and the number of success is zero because we are asked to calculate for no bus so r is equal to zero so finally you will calculate the probability for r equals to zero the formula is e to the power minus m m to the power r divided by factorial r okay so here if you see you need the mean okay the mean is required here so directly you can write n p it is what n is 5 p is this so 5 by 3 okay so you will write e to the power minus 5 by 3 this is 5 by 3 whole to the power 0 it will be 1 and factorial 0 is also 1 so finally you will get just e to the power minus 5 by 3 so the value is given to you it's 0.19 then so the question is very simple you will have to choose correctly what is the value of n and what is the value of r now let us see the last question now let us see this question here it is said if the probability of unfavorable reaction from a certain injection is 0 0.001 what is the probability that out of 2000 individuals more than two will suffer from unfavorable reaction so the equation is very clear here small p the probability of unfavorable reaction is given to you okay from a certain injection it is 0 0.001 you are asked to calculate the probability that out of 2000 individuals more than two will suffer from unfavorable reaction that means what three four five probability of suffering over three four five right this is what you need that is for r greater than two so directly you will do what you will just find the probability for zero individuals for one individual and then for two individual and that you will subtract from one okay so it's very simple n is here 2000 okay small p is given to you 0 0.001 so mean will be product of this two so it is two so finally you can write probability for r greater than two it is what one minus probability of zero plus probability of one person and plus probability of two person okay that when zero person one person and two person will suffer from unfavorable reaction so it is e to the power one minus so the formula is e to the power one e to the power minus m m to the power r by factorial r so here it is very clear this is z this will give you one this will give you one e to the power minus m so e to the power minus two plus probability for one person will be same e to the power minus two is there and here you're having what m is here two two to the power one right and by factorial r it is one plus again you're having for probability for two person e to the power minus m it is same m to the power r it is 2 square divided by factorial 2 right so this 2 will cancel 1 2 and here you will have what 1 minus it is 2 3 and here you will have what 4 5 so total 5 e to the power minus 2 so when you will do this entire calculation you can do and see 1 minus 5 by e square all right so this is the probability that more than two person will suffer from unfavorable reaction and the questions are very simple just you will have to figure out the parameters value correctly from the question clear so the formula you need to remember 
this is the formula for probability distribution in poison okay this is the probability for poison distribution clear so that's all in this video thank you so much have a good day